Hello guys and welcome back to another moving vlog. I actually have no idea this is like vlog 5 or 6 or 7. It's been a few weeks since the last vlog. So since the last vlog we've really just gotten settled. We haven't really bought too much of anything new um, but we have set up a lot of things and we're really settled now. So the last few things that we like big things that we need to get is like a couch and then maybe another rug or two but we're not going to get those for a few weeks. So I thought we could take this time to go through and do a full furnished apartment tour. If you haven't seen the full process up until this point, I'll go ahead and put all my moving vlogs in a playlist up in the cards so you can kind of catch up because I really documented the process from like first finding out like we were approved for the apartment all the way through shopping, move-in day, settling in, shopping, everything. <laughs> Okay, so I just spent the morning cleaning, uh, so it wouldn't look so messy for this. So let's start with the kitchen. Alright, so here's what the kitchen looks like as you're entering in. We ended up moving the table. The table used to be over in this corner. We put it over there because I could also use it as an extension of the counter space, and I like just having things up there. It just frees up a little bit more room on the counter space. Over where the table was in this corner, we moved Rex's food. So he's got his big container of dog food, his greenies, his treats, and then if we scoop down, his water bowl and his food bowl. I'll do just a quick overview of what we have in our cabinets and a few purchases that like were really, really good and that I've used like every day since moving in. Um, up here in this glass cabinet, we just have some sentimental things. We've got like a little change jar for like change. Um, that calcifer, uh, it's a candle warmer, you know, for wax melts. My best friend actually painted that for me. Um, we've got some cute salt and pepper sh shakers up there from my grandmother. And then I've got these cute, let me open it up so you can actually see it. These cute little uh, espresso cups from Paris that my cousin got us. It's, it's adorable. So we just have like sentimental display stuff up there. Moving down here, um, this container was actually a gift from my boyfriend's mom and it just where we like store potatoes and other kind of legumes. Um, up here, normally we'd put fruit, but we don't have any fruit that's not frozen right now. So we just have some Portuguese rolls. And then all the way down here, this is kind of just our like coffee and extra um, appliances corner. So we've got all of our coffee stuff up here. The middle is kind of like tea and energy drinks. And then down here, I've got like my G Fuel um, accessories for our coffee maker, which I'll show you in a minute, and our Nutribullet. The Nutribullet, a really good choice for um, a blender because we wanted something that was small but still could blend um, and there's only two of us so we really don't need a big blender um, so the Nutribullet has been awesome. We got the basic kit for I think that's the Pro. We got it from Target and it was around $80 so it was actually one of our best purchases so far. All right, swiveling over to what's on top of the table. This is, most of this is actually pretty temporary. This is our Starbucks Verissimo machine. We got this actually, so I got this with my family as a gift a few years ago for a Christmas gift. Um, but the pods, they're just a little too expensive for us to get consistently. So we have like uh, four more pods left. So what we're doing is just finishing that up. And then this is gonna go into more semi-permanent storage. And then we'll just pull it out every now and then if we wanna pull it out for actual espresso, cause it does make decent espresso. Um, I've got the pods in there. These are flowers I got for Valentine's Day. They're really cute. They're like rainbow flowers. Check out my Instagram if you haven't already because I, I like to post things there. Um, and I'm probably going to take those out and try to dry them because I already dried a few of the roses completely and they look really cool. So I'm going to see if I can dry those out too. And then the teep kettle over here, that uh, is like an old family. We don't have that many family heirlooms, but that's an old family heirloom from like my great grand aunt in Puerto Rico um, and it's one of the few things we have like from Puerto Rico and so my grandma gave it to me and now I have it and I just kind of keep like little candies and chocolates in there because I don't want to use it as an actual tea kettle because I'm afraid of like ruining it but it's so old like I don't think I could ruin it anyway. <laughs> All right moving over we've got our coffee cookbook knife station and phone charging station of course. Um, I actually really like having my phone here for when I'm cooking because I like to make sure it's charged because I almost never charge my phone and I like having it right here as I'm cooking. Um, we've got the Ninja coffee maker, honestly one of the best ones, like best decisions to purchase that we made. Um, we really wanted something that can make a whole pot of coffee and individual cups. So you can put this down, make an individual cup or make a whole pot of coffee. Um, these cute little espresso cups we got from, I believe it was Marshall's, just because they look adorable. And we could use them either with the Ninja or with the Starbucks machine. Um, I've got some cookbooks over here. We've got Japanese one. Uh, this is actually YouTuber Alex. He's really cool. We watch all his videos. Um, I've got a Puerto Rican cookbook. 
and then I've got a folder with just like a bunch of little paper recipes and stuff that I still have to like really organize. And then we've got a magnetic knife block. We've got a pair of kitchen scissors, um, a big slicing knife, a bread knife, and then a tiny little paring knife, which are basically your basic knives. That's kind of all you need to really get started in the kitchen. As we get a little bit more established, we'll probably purchase more knives, but for right now, that's really all we need. Moving down into our cutlery drawer. So I didn't realize how big this drawer was gonna be, but it's so big because we really only have one drawer in the whole kitchen, so this is really the only drawer. Eventually, I'm gonna get the big organizers from Ikea, like the ones I have in my Alex drawers, because I think they'll fit here. So I wanna get those to make this a little bit more organized, but for now, this is what we're working with. So we got these clips from Ikea, these chopsticks, these particular ones I actually got when I was in Japan a while ago. Um, so those I just keep because they're semi-useful and uh, fairly sentimental, um, I'll admit. Uh, we're gonna get a nicer set of like everyday use chopsticks, but we gotta find a nice set on Amazon for that. The set of cutlery we just got from Ikea and this organizer I think we also got from Ikea. And then this one I think we got at Target. We have um, a little mini spatula, a little mini whisk. These, I believe, are from Target. Most of everything is gonna be from either Amazon, Target, or Kohl's. All of these cute blue accessories, these were all gifts. So the measuring cup set, the measuring spoon set, those are from Kohl's. And then from the matching set, we have a meat thermometer. One of the best things ever, meat thermometers. Just makes it so much easier to make sure you're cooking meat correctly without having to chop it open and make see what's inside. It's, that's really useful. We have some um, corks for wine, but they're like, they also pour out, but then you can also close them in store. That was really useful. We got those at Target. Actually, no, I lied. We got these at Total Wine when we went to go pick up some wine. <laughs> We've got a can opener. We have a peeler. We have a little grater. And all these small things were also gifts because we did move right after Christmas. So we did get a lot of these as gifts. We have some... Uh, tiny little funnels right there that are useful for refilling things. We have these rice paddles. We got these rice paddles in a pack of two on Amazon. Um, this we got at the Christmas tree shop. It's a just citrus squisher. I'm sure that's not the name. And then we have a bottle opener for wine. We got this set of um, what spatulas. This came in a whole set on Amazon for pretty cheap. So we've got most of them there. And then the rest are on the counter. I'll show you a little bit later. A nice set of tongs. We have got a, a medium, a small, and a large one. I use these almost every single time that I cook. Super useful. And then a basting brush. Yes, that's what it's called. <laughs> um, I am going to start doing a lot more marinades and we actually just ordered a grill version of our cast iron skillet so I'm, I'm hoping to do a little bit more grilling with that. Um, so that's everything in here and uh, basically everything in here we use really really often. Down here are just our pots and pans and we really don't have much just that one set we got for Christmas that I showed in a previous moving vlog. Uh, up here, it's a pretty messy cabinet on the second shelf because it's hard to keep Tupperware organized. So Tupperware is on that second shelf. The first shelf I'm actually pretty proud of. We've got all of our plates. We have these big bowl plate things that are really useful for like pasta and noodles. And then we've got these shelves with our little bowls over here. Both of those shelving units we also got off of Amazon. Okay, I'm not really going to show up with the... the cabinets above the fridge are really just storage for things you're really not going to be reaching for. Um, I love this magnetic calendar that we got um, off of Amazon as well. Uh, I just like putting in like you know when we got to pay the rent, when we have birthdays, when my payday is, when I got my tax refund, um, and then I'm going to add chores to this next month so I like having just like at a glance what our month looks like right there. And then I made a little pouch for our um, dry erase markers because the markers came with this but the markers really aren't that magnetic and they kept falling off so no. Um, in this grocery list kind of thing this is also a gift that we got but you can get them at like any Marshalls for fairly cheap. Um, I use this to meal plan so I've got Sunday through Friday just kind of dinners planned out and then whenever we go shopping I make our shopping lists on there as well. Over here to the left, these cabinets are just our pantry. So we've got some food staples, we've got some cereals, some Pop-Tarts, all of our canned uh, veggies and crushed tomatoes and a lot of Spam, <laughs> stuff like that. And then the rest of our pantry, we've got, you know, oils, oats, all of our rices on the bottom, fun stuff. <laughs> 
swiveling along. This is our sink, not, you know, too much exciting there. Our drying rack, a little gloves. Um, all of our cleaning supplies are down here along with our dish uh, or anything for laundry because we, did, we don't have a separate storage area for laundry because our laundry is just in that closet at the beginning of the kitchen. In this cabinet, we keep all of our cups and then like bigger mugs that are kind of bowls, but not really, and then some shot glasses. <laughs> Um, the regular drinking cups that we have here we got from um, Ikea. This uh, wine glass set, I love these wine glasses. I just love how the square ones look. They're just so pretty. We got those in a set of two off of Amazon. And then everything over here we already had. Um, so those we just kind of had for a while. We've got a ton of coffee mugs because of course we do. <laughs> and that's about it for here. Next to the drying rack, I have all of our big utensils. So again, everything that's like in this blue shade, we got from we got as gifts from Kohl's. So they have a whole set of utensils that are in this blue, and it's nice because throughout the apartment, I didn't really realize this until um, later, like after we moved in and got really settled. But it seems that blue is a natural accent color that we just found throughout like our bedroom, the kitchen, and it just seems to work really well. The gray and the blue, so I I'm not hating it. <laughs> So we've got those. We got this spider at, uh, this was at Target. This has been really useful. Potato masher, spatulas, ladles, uh, fish spatula. I like a lot better than a regular spatula most of the time. Whisk, kind of all your go-to essentials. And that just lives right over there. Then I got my cutting boards back here. Really like having a huge cutting board for big meals and a tiny cutting board if I just want to cut like a sandwich. I, I hated having to bring out the big cutting board for just like a tiny thing and then had to walk like wash the whole thing. So a small cutting board is really useful. Okay and then up here we just have um, like our spices up top or our mixing bowls but down here we just have all of our spices. The spice racks that are really useful we got these also off of Amazon. There's an extendable spice rack so you can fit it to your cabinet. We just have all of our regular spices and then up on the second shelf can we scoot We've got our bigger things, like a big thing of sea salt, flour, we got our panko, we got sugar, I gotta clean this out and refill it. Um, and then we've got all of my like marinades, seasonings, taco seasonings, all that fun stuff. <laughs> and then over here we just have our stove with a nice candle on it. One of my good friends got me that candle, that's Brandy, if you're watching, love you Brandy. A microwave, and then up there is just more storage, so we have our Instant Pot, and then we have a Dutch oven up there. So that was everything in the kitchen. I know we got a little bit thorough there and it took a little bit longer, but I think that the most questions people had were like about the kitchen and how we got settled and what was really important. Um, so yeah, we got through all of that. Let's go ahead and move into the living space. Oh, he's such a sleepy little boy. Someone's taking a nap. <laughs> so from the kitchen, you come out to our uh, kind of foyer space. So these are the stairs that you enter the apartment in. And this is our little entryway. We have our <laughs> little squishy over here who has her mask on because you gotta be wearing your, it goes over your nose. <laughs> um, over here, we just put an anti-traction thing so we could put things on there and they wouldn't fall off because we kept dropping things. Um, in this container, we literally just have a bunch of hand sanitizer because <laughs> COVID. Um, but in there, we just put things like keys if, we're, if we need to like leave and make sure we take our keys with us. Any mail that comes in, I just put it there first. And as you can see, we do have that pop of blue <laughs> just by accident throughout the apartment, which is really nice. Um, we got a nice little coat rack for my purse and our coats and our umbrellas and stuff. I've got half the dice in there temporarily just because I'm charging it right now because I ran out of battery while vacuuming <laughs> this morning. We have our lamp, which is controlled by our Google Home device, which is very, very useful. And then we have our cute little um, shoe rack right next to our closet. So that closet has all of our like chunky hoodies, all of our extra cleaning supplies, all that fun stuff. If we swivel over to the right, we'll see Rex, one of Rex's beds, because he does have multiple beds, and his full toy box right here. And this is Alvin's workspace. So this is his toolbox, um, all of his tools, all of his kind of like, that's kind of like his messy corner. I don't really touch it, other than like I clean around it, but I don't touch it. <laughs> so that's kind of his little area right there. And we have a sleepy boy, a very sleepy boy. If we swivel all the way around, we'll come to the room divider. So we basically put these bookshelves side by side. They're not fully, 
you know connected so if we have to we do we can pull them apart and move them but we use this to create kind of a, div a division between what we're calling the living room and the bedroom um, because the actual bedroom in this apartment was pretty small and we wanted to have a little bit more space and then I wanted to use that as an office which is what we did so we've got these bookshelves we have all of our books here and once we go over you'll see our bed and the tv kind of entertainment area so first thing right over here we have a little bit of an extension of alvin's work area these cases uh, milk crates are extra storage for his tools and then this bookshelf has like a first aid kit some sentimental things on display on top and then that white container on the bottom is all of our like extra electronic stuff for storage and this is rex's other bed <laughs> And over here we have our bed. This is, so this bed frame is a technically a futon bed frame. We have a queen size bed and I believe it is a purple mattress. It's a really squishy movable mattress. So whenever we want to just watch TV or hang out, we can fold this into a couch, which is actually really nice. So we have that. We've got our two bedside tables that we also got off of Amazon and the bed frame we did get off of Amazon as well. Um, my side of the bed is now on that side, so I've got my books, my corgi butt, and then this is Alvin's side of the bed, so all his electronics are over there, our Google Home is over there, and then my yoga mat is right over there as well. The bedding was actually, like, from his parents, and it had been, like, in their attic for a long time, so I don't really know exactly where the bedding came from, but it was gray, matched our gray aesthetic, perfect. The gray, uh, blanket down here came from Target, and that was a gift from a cousin of ours. And that, uh thing that's sticking up right there is my reading lamp so it's like a flashlight that's into an articulating arm and i use that to read when i go to bed okay so now from the bed looking at the entertainment center this used to be alvin's desk at his old place so we kind of repurposed it it's like half his desk where he can sit down on the stool and do some work or hang out and do whatever he wants there and then it's also our tv so we've got the big tv there we have a bunch of squishies up around the top you can see eli jr hanging out in retirement right there. Uh, we've got a lot of Pikachus and some other Pokemon and just, it's, it's cute. We had nowhere else to put them so we thought they would work there. We also have a lamp right here that is also powered by our Google Home so we like being able to just voice activate most of the main lights so we can turn things off from bed because we like to be lazy. Uh, it's also where our router is so all of our electronics are also right there. And I've got the Dyson charging because I ran out of power when trying to vacuum. And under the desk, we just have extra um, storage. So like that blue container has like a bunch of extra blankets because we had a ton of blankets for some reason. Um, and then that black container has like bags and coats and sweaters that we're not really using. And I think that's about it for out here. Okay, so I lied. I wanted to show you guys the back of the bookshelves because the books don't take up the full length of the bookshelf. So on the back, we put extra squishies. <laughs> so like these are mostly gifts over here. I've got my little heart. Um, I've got a bunch of cute squishies and sentimental things we just put on the back of the bookshelf. So it's like facing the bedroom. So also forgot to mention that. As we head into the office, you see this little white kind of dresser thing right here. We basically have all of Rex's stuff in here. We have his treats, we have some of his food, we have all of his pee pads, um, the bags to pick up the poop, and then on top we have our Dyson uh, fan because this faces the bed as you can see. So we put this on at night to keep us nice and cool because this apartment actually, it's we can't control the heat in the apartment. The heat is included in the rent, so they just jack up the heat all winter and it's hot. <laughs> so we open the windows most of the time we have the fans on um and then in a few weeks we actually already have a window ac unit on um our amazon list that we're gonna buy and we're gonna put the window unit in that window so it's right by our bed all right so the room that i was most excited about i think the one that i put the most work into is the office so this is half office for my day job and then half vanity beauty room Okay, so let's start with the side of the office that is for my day job. I've got this lamp. This is just the regular five head lamp from Target. I love these lamps. It's the same lamp in the living room, except this one's just in black. And I have, um, these are uh, Bluetooth, what are they called? Bluetooth light bulbs, thank you. So I can change the colors to whatever I want. So typically when I'm relaxing or hanging out, they're warm. Whereas when I'm working, I like to make them all very cool toned lights to match um, kind of more natural, bright daylight. Um, this bookshelf here is mostly workbooks. I've got some sentimental things on top for just like display purposes. Uh, but down here, most of these are um, books for work. And then the bottom shelf is like overflow of like my personal books. And then this is my traveling chest set I've, I've had ever since I was a kid. 
Okay, so just a quick overview. This is my work laptop, my external monitor, uh, the webcam that I bought originally to do more live streams. I will be doing more live streams now that I have this room fully set up, but I wasn't using it that often, so I put it on my work because <laughs> I'm on video calls for work every single day. I've got my keyboard, I got my regular stuff. I've got underneath the desk, you can see that's my current uh, placeholder for a footrest because um, I don't have a footrest. I broke mine a while ago and so when we moved we just got rid of it. I got a printer which is super super helpful and then I put a fan on top and I point it up just to get some circulation in this room because it can get a little bit stagnant in here especially when you're in here all day. Um, that's my new desk chair. I got that off of Amazon for like around $100 and it was one of the best investments ever because previously I was using a cheaper chair from Target, which is okay. I have it at my vanity, so it's great when you're just sitting for like, I don't know, hour, two hours max per day, but sitting in it all day was giving me kind of back problems. So this one is like an actual ergonomic chair and it's been night and day, honestly, because I sit here, I work eight to nine hours a day just from here. So it helps a lot. So yeah, so that's everything for like my day job. Um, and if we swivel, 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 we go to my vanity and my filming setup. Now, right here in the middle, I do eventually want to get some nice folding cute room dividers, uh, like the like folding, yeah, like the folding room dividers. I'll throw a picture of what I have, like an idea in my head of, um, but I'm not in, in any rush to really get those, uh, but it will be nice to kind of section off that space before we get into the makeup YouTube side of things. Okay, so first of all, I've got both of my umbrella lights right here I use whenever I am filming. This bookshelf over here, I have um, overflow of books that uh, just didn't fit anywhere else because we do have a lot of books. Um, second shelf has all the makeup I'm selling on my Poshmark. My Poshmark closet is live. If you missed that link, I will have it in the description box and in the first pinned comment. And then I have all my nail care. Basically, the second half of the shelf over here is my nail care. The very bottom just has my empties basket and some other empties and things I have to hold on to. Over here, I have an extra mirror from Ikea for filming. This has all of my filming equipment, like my camera bag, my mic, my lav mic, all the things that I need to reach for for filming, I just throw right on top of there. And then in this kind of container, I've got all my extra um, toiletries, like backups and stuff that wouldn't fit in the bathroom. All right, and then behind the bookshelf in the corner, we have my full makeup setup. So starting with my background, this is just a little blue table I had in my last place. And you can see like the top of this and a little bit of this in the background of my videos now. So I just put, um, those are the last products I got in PR from Glamnetic. I actually should have just had a video go up a little bit ago with my first impressions. I'll throw that up in the cards if you missed it. And then this really cute like Halloween basically like gothic bouquet. Um, Alvin got me that I think last Halloween. I think it was at Home Depot, but I love this and I'll keep it forever. Hanging on the wall, I've got the string lights. These actually used to be um, in my old place in the front window. So I loved having the lights in the window. It just made it feel really cozy and warm. And I wanted to have them in the background of my video. So I have them hung right here, which is typically where the camera <laughs> starts. Uh, you really can't see above there, though I have seen in one or two videos, I accidentally put the camera up too high and you can see them. So I am working on that. But I've got the cute little lights and then I have them drape onto the eyeshadow palette bookshelf. So this is the main thing that you see in the back of my videos. I'm actually really happy with how it came out, the top of my eyeshadow palette bookshelf. Um, these are mainly gifts. Uh, this was my last pan, not my last pan of palette actually. It's the pan of palette from two years ago, the subculture palette. Um, my friend Brie gave me the handbook for the recently deceased eyeshadow palette that I love. I, I haven't really tried the shadows, but I, I love having it on display. Um, my best friend Brooke made me this little brush holder and it's adorable. Alvin got me that skull clock that is from Amazon, I believe. These two mini skulls were also gifts, so I'm not sure exactly where they came from. The Polyjuice Potion um, mug, I believe that was from Marshalls, and then I have eyeshadow brushes just in there as well. And moving down, we have all of my eyeshadow palettes. They're nicely organized in here. Um, I'm not gonna go through each one because I did just do a full collection slash declutter video. If you missed it, I'll have that up in the cards. I did it right before my move. So really the only difference between that video and now is that my friend Brie sent me a big box of eyeshadow goodies. So I've got a few new products from her, but other than that, that um, declutter and collection video is up to date. 
All right, so when we swivel around, we have the actual vanity. We've got my MacBook that I do all my editing and everything off of. I've got my everyday makeup basket right over here. I go through that basket every month when I shop my stash. So if you want to catch my shop my stash videos, I'll have that playlist up in the cards. And it also comes out typically around the first week of every month. Swiveling over, we've got my Alex drawers and the majority of my makeup collection. So let's zoom in there. I do have a few decorations just hanging on the wall. These are all hung with command strips, so hopefully the paint doesn't get too affected. I've got some bags, a Mac bag. I actually still have my old Sephora name tags up there. <laughs> um, and those just have my Mac empty, so I eventually, hopefully, can back to Mac. Uh, the Sephora bag over here has a bunch of extra, like, shopping bags. Like, I like keeping the... Um, paper shopping bags because I like to use them to organize my products when I need to get together products to film or if I need to get empties together. They're just really helpful to have so I have a bag full of bags. <laughs> and then I have my cute headbands. I love headbands for filming, for just doing my makeup, um, and I like having them on display because they're really cute. So I have those all hung up around. Okay, so we've got the acrylic drawers that are the top part of my makeup collection right up here. I've got my everyday eyeshadow brushes right here. These are mainly storage. These are things I don't use as often because my everyday actual face brushes are in this container right here. In this top part, I just keep like tape for swatches, some hair clips up here. These are all lip liners. These are my liquid shadows. And these are all of my lashes. Moving down, I like to keep like PR that I need to test out down here. So these are actually perfumes I got in PR from Dossier that I'm going to be testing out and doing um, a perfume collection video talking about perfumes because I realize I really haven't done that too much and I'm really excited about that brand because they seem to focus on like perfume dupes and that's something that I would love to see if they do work and smell like the original ones because perfume is expensive. <laughs> it really is. So down here we have all my nail care and I've got hair shears, face razors right there. These are all eyeliners. This is empty. <laughs> These are lip glosses. These are all my black lipsticks. And down here we've got hollow taco nail polish and more nail polish. Over on this side I've got some single shadows, some more single shadows right there. And then we have more lipsticks. These are the red lipsticks. These are my green lipsticks. These are my nude and nude adjacent lipsticks. And those are the rest of my lipsticks. So like berries, things that really don't fit into the rest of the categories kind of go there. Here, And then in this white barn bag, I have... Um, like half of my empties. I just filmed an empties video. And what I do whenever I film an empties video is uh, before I recycle everything, I go through and figure out which products I have not reviewed on Influencer. Influencer is a third party platform where you can post reviews of products and then you can actually get PR. The majority of the PR that I get, not all of it, but the majority of the PR I get is through Influencer. And I personally just like having like a profile where I, I can see like at a glance all of my written reviews for a bunch of products. So I went through everything. Um, I tend to have a lot of repeats in my empties so I don't have to review everything every time that I do an empties video. Um, so I just went through everything that I already reviewed, I just recycled. Um, and these are all the products I have to take pictures of and actually review on Influencer. So I like keeping them in a bag off to the side of my vanity to remind me I have to do it. And then um, I just recycle them whenever I'm done. Okay, and I'll give you a quick peek at the Alex drawers. So drawer number one. Um, I got some Q-tips, I got my color switch, all of my um, primer, setting sprays, concealers, and my little poof poofs. Drawer number two has my foundations, my powders pressed and loose, and then my bronzers and contours. Drawer number three has all of my highlighters on this side, blushes over here, and then in the back we have highlighter palettes and some blush palettes. Drawer number four has all of my face palettes, and I love, love, love face palettes, so I've got a bunch of those. And then drawer number five is kind of just like a hodgepodge. I've got some, um, backup mascaras, I got a backup brow gel, some empty palettes, a mirror, kind of random stuff. All right, so that is everything in the office slash beauty room. Let's finish up with a quick look at just the organization in the bathroom. 
Okay, so I know this is a little bit boring, but here's our bathroom. Our shower curtain is black. I really love the black shower curtain. We got that at Target, um, and the over the toilet organizer has been definitely amazing, especially because we really don't have a linen closet. So we keep all of our towels up here. I've got some tampons. I've got a candle, um, some fresh. Let me see if I can zoom in. Yeah, so we've got our towels. We've got some Febreze, some incense sticks, a candle, and my tampons. <laughs> We also have Rex's little pee pad down there for his emergencies. Uh, it's really big for the space, but we still had extra large pee pads left over from uh, the last place. So we're just finishing those up and then we ordered smaller ones. So they'll actually fit in the space and not take up the entire <laughs> bathroom floor. Um, we've got a little trash can, a little plunger and brush cleaner duo set, which is really nice. I'd recommend getting one of those. But that was uh, basically a gift from my boyfriend's mom, so we also don't know where we got that. Um, and then this toilet organizer we got from Target. And you'll see everything we have on the vanity is majority like from Target. Okay, so moving on to the sink top, which I'm actually really proud and happy with how it's finally turned out. It took a while, but it's it's organized. So this is kind of my side of the sink, and then this is Alvin's side of the sink. As you can see, there's more on my side of the sink. <laughs> So you can actually see through this panel into our shower. So all the bottles here are my shower goodies. I've got my conditioners. My shampoo is up there. This is my a deep conditioning mask for my hair. This is my face wash and that's my body wash. On this side, I've got a, a body spray back there, dry shampoo, my favorite makeup remover, the Bioderma, and then a bunch of hair stuff. <laughs> so in here, I have a bunch of um, hair ties and uh, headbands. I love headbands. If you couldn't already tell. I've got hair clips that I use mainly, the smaller ones I use for styling, the bigger ones I use for when I'm actually like styling my wet hair. I need to just clip it up and out of the way. This is the lotion I'm currently using. This was actually Alvin's lotion. He had it for a long time, but never used it. So um, it, this is a mess, excuse that. But this is a product that allows you to like put it upside down and just squeeze it out. So I'm trying to finish that lotion up. I've got um, uh, plastic caps for when I deep condition my hair. I've got the gels that I'm using. This is the Eco Styling Gel, and this is the Dippity Doo Girls with Curls Jelly. Um, I've got a little sample I got from my last Sephora order. This is the BB Curl Defining Cream. I've got a Cantu Conditioning Hair Lotion, a Shea Moisture Styling Lotion, and the oil I'm currently using is the Argan Oil of Morocco from OGX, that's the brand. <laughs> and then along the side, I've got all my clips. This is what I use to clip my hair up when it's drying after I style it. Over here, we've got um, a towel holder we got from Target. So this um, two-story container, this towel holder, and then all of the other containers I'll show you later, they're all from the same section at Target. We really wanted to keep um, it consistent, and it's all like the brushed copper shade, and it looks really pretty in here. I've got a little baby Yoda, squish, like poof poof, like I call him. I don't want to use him because I don't want to destroy it, so he's just going to be on display forever. And then back here, I've got a makeup eraser. Here I've got um, my current body spray I'm trying to finish up. It's the Japanese Cherry Blossom one. I've got our toothpaste down here. This is actually from Lush. This is the Karma Soap. It's my favorite scent from Lush, the Karma Cream. I'm so upset they discontinued that. I will never stop talking about that Lush. <laughs> Um, this is going to be our soap dispenser once we finish this winter soap. And again, this container is also from that same collection at Target, so they all match. Up here, I've got two curl creams to test out that I was sent in PR. One is from Way, and then one is from Madison Reed. Uh, this is a Shop Masse brush I use for my face masks. I have a couple of face masks in here that I like to keep that around for. Um, these are moisturizers I'm using. The CeraVe AM Facial Moisturizing Lotion with SPF 30 is what I'm using in the mornings. And then at night, I'm using the Cetaphil Moisturizing Lotion. Um, I also have this little acne treatment gel that I've been using for my mask knee and for my regular acne. <laughs> and then in this little espresso cup, I've got a bunch of fragrance samples. I love tiny, I love perfume so much, and I don't really talk about it that much, so I'm going to try and talk about it a little bit more. But I love having those little samples to try things out, so I just put that little container in here, and now I've got all my little samples adorably in there. All right, moving over to Alvin's side of the sink. There's a lot less stuff. We've got our toothbrushes. He's got his, he's got a traditional like shaving kit. He does have a full beard, but he does have to shave like below his neck. So he's got a really nice shaving kit. He's got a, um, not mechanical. What was I gonna call it? He's got an electric toothbrush. That's what it's called. <laughs> So he has an electric toothbrush. I like having the regular toothbrush, so I've got that there. We have a water pick, which I have to say, he's had a water pick for most of his life, but I only recently started using it. It's amazing. 
it's like it, it feels like your mouth is as clean as if you went to a dentist for a cleaning but every day I love it so we've got that there he's got the charging station for his electric toothbrush and then we've got a thing of um, shea butter cream which is a really great super moisturizing body lotion cream thing <laughs> All the storage underneath here is kind of a mess, so I'm not really going to show it, but it's really just like toiletries. I've got extra like tampons, bath bombs, that kind of stuff, but I'll show you what we have in our medicine cabinet. So we have a really basic medicine cabinet. I've got deodorant, my toner, we've got some first aid things, some medicine, we got Tylenol, allergy pills, Advil, Excedrin for my migraines, um, some uh, Dayquil and Nightquil just in case we happen to catch a cold. Down here we have some uh, perfumes and colognes. Alvin had an Armani cologne, so we put it in here. I've got Tom Ford and my Burberry blush. And this is a Karma lotion from Lush. And then this is all of my skincare. It's mainly the ordinary. I've got a Glam Glow mask right there. Um, this is a beard oil that Alvin uses. And then this is um, another acne treatment that I used, which is pretty good, but I do like the Clinique one a little bit better. That was also sent to me in PR. So that's just about it for the bathroom. So that is the full furnished apartment tour. I feel like I've been talking for two hours straight. I'm sure this is gonna be a very long video, but thank you guys for watching. Let me know down below if there's any other videos you wanna see from me, cause I'm probably not gonna do another moving vlog until we get like another big piece of furniture like the couch which is going to be in a couple of months so we're not really going to rush that because we really have a couch we really want to get in mind and because of covid and everything they're just typically out of stock um if there's any other smaller kind of videos in the meantime you want to see i know there was a budgeting video you guys wanted to see that just came out and people were really excited about that i could do more videos on budgeting or about i don't know if i could vlog to be honest i work from home so my vlogs like for a week wouldn't be incredibly exciting. It'd probably just be a lot of me drinking coffee, cooking, and then hanging out with Rex. But if you guys want to see that, let me know. Thank you guys for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye. Rex. Rex, do you want to come out? Come say hi. There he is. The, oh, big stretch. Big stretch.